a second video on this modified receiver. A little bit earlier in the evening than when I did the previous video. This is reception of WWV on 5 MHz with the modified Digitech receiver. Now connected it to a bigger speaker. One thing I should mention is the smaller receiver is using only a tiny speaker and it's pretty much hard up against the board. So that will reduce the audio quality. The next thing I did was to get this regenerative receiver, although if you don't have one of those, an RF signal generator that's tunable will also do. With that oscillating, I was able to locate its signal on the Digitec receiver. Not only that, but I was able to use it as a BFO to tune in SSB transmissions. I have the receiver's antenna near, but not touching, the regen receiver. That provides just enough BFO injection to resolve SSB, but not to overload the receiver. Because the BFO is at signal frequency, the main fine tuning is done on the signal generator. I'll demonstrate again the overload issue. Badly overload when I've got the coupling tighter. So 
so it needs very loose coupling. He is about perfect. Now there seems to be a bit of a lag in when I adjust the BFO and what I hear from the speaker. I think this is, might be due to the receiver circuitry. There's possibly some digital signal processing which causes a delay. The levels are really critical, whether it's between the BFO and the receiver or the coupling between the antenna and the receiver. That 7 MHz done, we'll now try the next band up, which is 9 to 10 MHz. You might have just heard the sound when we changed over the band. I've just plugged the Digitech into the Regen receiver's antenna socket, just because there'll be a bit of leakage, and I'll be able to confirm that it's on or near the right frequency. Here's a very strong signal. It seems to be in the 19 meter band, just above 15 megahertz. Which is pretty good given that it's after nine at night. This is around 12 megahertz or a bit below. 